Oh guy, hey yo guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. So today we will be doing a another couple of Civ certified videos. Um, let me go ahead and uh, turn my lights to bright, and then turn them completely off. Okay, so. Let me just make sure that you guys can see some of the basics real quick. Turn my lights back on. It's kind of close. Everything like I want. There you go. Perfect. Sorry guys. Just gonna move that away. Put it right there, that works. Okay. So, um, no one's joining me. I put it in my, um, server that I was doing this, and no one's responded, so I guess I'm by myself. That's okay, though. Alright, so, this is pretty well the backbone of how I want Civs to work, and stuff like that. So, first things first that we're going to go over is pretty well how I expect it to be set up. So basically what you're going to do first of all is kind of let me uh, block out certain pieces of, of information of course. But you're basically going to click on patrol. Then you're going to go to civilian. Now Mountain Law is a multi-platform server, as you are very well aware, or if you're new, you might not be aware. Um, you'll click on your server that you're a part of, whatever it may be, um, whether it be 360 or Xbox One or so on and so forth. Then you'll click on your unit, uh, your identifying number, and continue. Now... What it's going to show you and what you'll actually see when you first log in are two very different things. So this is what I see. I see my characters that I've created. Um, you'll go down to where it says add new if you are completely new and you haven't created a character. And um, then you'll fill out the inf pieces of information. Um, I'm going to go with my... Uh, uh, Steve Warbottom sounds good right now. Uh, so this is where your um, DMV, where you register vehicles, firearms, edit info, create warrants for your character. You can also switch to different characters. You can look at a map, live map, um, and stuff like that. So, yeah. Now... With that, so now let's go ahead and get in here. I'm pretty sure one of my vehicles are in here. Let me look real quick. Registered vehicles. Hmm. Let me see. I swear one of my vehicles are in here. We'll go from there. Um, now, as of right now, yeah, I totally forgot what I was going to say. Never mind. Let me see what this vehicle is. Um, ooh. Alright, for right now, this is the one we'll run. Anyway, so with this, remember, it, it, Mount Law does have its own penal code. I have made the penal code for Mount Law RP. Um, now the penal code does have, it does have, like, of course, actual laws in it, but it's not based off of any actual penal code. It's basically 
just stuff that I know myself from either other states or I think in general should be a law or something like that. Now, um, since we're not in an active RP, I'm going to kind of break the law. Now, normally I just sit at this red light and I just wait for it to go green, but oh well. Anyway, so now, as a sieve, when you first get in, please, please choose your vehicle and immediately start driving to Los Santos Customs. Try to follow the laws, try not to get attention to yourself or anything like that, but immediately go to a Los Santos Customs. Don't be running red lights like I'm doing right now. Um, or breaking traffic laws, because if you break a traffic law and an officer pulls you over and it's not registered, you're going to kind of have to come up with a story and hope to God that they kind of ignore the penal code a little bit and let you off to go to Los Santos Customs to get it uh, registered. Anyway, so you what you do is you come to Los Santos Customs, you pull in... Um, this is where I I recommend to kind of look through the penal code a little bit because uh, it is accessible. So basically, armor does not matter. Brakes recommended to have race brakes, just faster on braking. Um, bumper also doesn't really matter as long as it's not going to scratch the pavement. Engine does matter. It has to be stock. It cannot be modified. It, it, if your engine is modified in roleplay, change it because it's just, it's not fun for LEO and it's not fun to pen for other sieves either, especially if they're following the rules and you're not. Um, now, ex exhaust, it cannot be explosive exhaust. By law, it cannot be. So if an officer sees you with, with explosive exhaust, they can pull you over for it. So um, I do not at this time remember. Okay. I do not at this time remember what code it is, but I do know um, it is against the law. So yeah, um, explosives, that's... That's just fell RP right there. If someone gets in your car and your car blows up, that's automatic fell RP, and we do have procedures for that as well. Hood also doesn't really matter as long as the um, hood doesn't have, like, fire coming out of it and stuff like that, then you should be good. Um, horn, it cannot be um, cop horn. And in some cases, it cannot be a truck horn, depending. Um, like, ah, oh, shoot. Depending on, like, where you are. If you're, like, in a small residential area, then it can be considered illegal because residential, um, likes to kind of be, um, quiet at night. So, now during the day, they might overlook it, but at night, I can almost guarantee that you're going to get cited for um, uh, disturbing the peace. Oh, there's another law I just thought of. I'm constantly updating the penal code. Um, anyway, so yes, you can't have either of those. Now you can have anything else you want. Anything else is op optional. You just can't have those. Lights doesn't matter as long as they are not red or blue. If they are red or blue, then you can um, be pulled over for attempt to impersonate an emergency vehicle. License plate, of course, you have to have those, but uh, a cop's not going to be able to realize that. But if you don't have... Um, full coverage, um, which is the insurance, then don't hand insur pretend to hand insurance papers to the LEOs because that's just fail RP right there. I mean, they won't know any different, to be honest, but if you don't have it, then just just do it right, okay? Um, license plate, it cannot have exempt. So, give me one second. I am really... 
Uh, okay, so it cannot have exempt. If it has San Andreas exempt on it, you can, and most likely, if the officer is paying attention, we'll get pulled over. Color of the vehicle really don't matter. Unless your vehicle gets bowled, so, yeah. Then, of course, it matters to the LEO. <laughs> That's just common sense. Um, spoiler. The thing with spoilers, if it is obstructing your view, and I will show a few cars to where that can play a role, but it, spoilers like this right here is fine, but if it is obstructing your back window, an officer can pull you over, for basically a um, mod vehicle modification of obstruction of view, pretty much. So, yeah, and it is a citation. Um, suspension, it cannot go past street suspension. If an officer thinks it is past street suspension, they can pull you over for too low suspension. And it is a citation, if I remember it. Right. So, for first offense. And it goes up every single offense that you do. So, if you do it first time, it's kind of a, a slap on the wrist, but it can't, it goes up. Transmission. Um, I do street transmission, but the officer most likely won't be able to tell the difference. Um... Turbo, you cannot have turbo on your cars. It is illegal, and it also kind of breaks role play unless it's like a sports car, but then it's kind of, um, it it's still illegal, but at least it's not breaking role play. Now, if you just put it like in every single car in your garage, even motorcycles, then it's kind of like, really, dude? Really? Um, wheels, um... Wheel type doesn't matter. Wheel color doesn't matter. Wheel accessories does matter. It cannot be pull-proof tires. If you already have those attached, don't worry about it. Just if someone shoots at your tires and you know they shot at your tires, role play it out that your tires eventually are going to pop after about 30 to 40 feet. Because that's about average to my knowledge. Um, we'll test that later maybe um anyway it has to be white or black smoke cannot be alternate color smoke uh if an officer sees white alternate color a different type of smoke they can pull you over this is where it's not an actual law it is a game law that's something for like um rookie role playing officers that doesn't know what the hell they're doing or sorry doesn't know what they're doing so ba that's pretty well what that in itself is for um so yeah now window tint is not allowed to go beyond dark smoke if it is limo or pure black it is illegal now dark smoke can sometimes be mistaken for limo um, so you got to be really, really careful on that. I tell my officers the rule of thumb is if it looks like it's limo, then most likely it's just dark smoke. But if they come to a final conclusion that it is limo, you can be cited for too dark window tint. And that is a citation as well. Um, so anyway... You just got done with the mod shop. You're pretty well set. You've gotten your vehicle registered. You should already have your character set up. You're pretty well set to go. Um, now at this point you can kind of role play what you're going to role play. Whether it be um, running around rampant. Trying to get as many tickets as you can. Or um, yeah. Now in Mount Law before... The uh, new um, system that I s put out, there was not really a priority timer, but now everyone in Mount Law is wanting a priority timer, so I have put a rule in place that the RP host, whoever it may be at whatever time, if they decide that a priority timer is needed, then one can be put in place. 
and the priority timer can vary between so many minutes I have not yet decided those minutes um all right, we're going to go to our my other garage real quick, and we're going to explain certain things. Um, so, yeah. Just got to get through. Oh, shit. Almost got hit. So, and yes, we will most likely take out one of my cars just to kind of show you. Um, yeah. Alright, this ain't gonna be legit, but don't do this in roleplay unless you uh, have like a truck or something, because if that happens, your vehicle is going to be damaged, if not close to being disabled. So, yeah. It's gonna be disabled, if not close to being severely damaged. Oops, I forgot. This ain't my other garage for this vehicle. Oopsies. Yeah, I don't want to do that because I it, it was interesting trying to get each individual vehicle in its garage category. I am a very categorized type person. All right, so this is, as you can probably tell, my sports car garage. So pretty well spoilers like this one can be considered pro possibly, um, jeez possibly um obstructing view but it's also not that big now ones like this one definitely probably obstructing the view considering well it doesn't have a mirror but anyway zentornos itself technically cannot be driven on the road because it does not have a back plate and it does not have a front plate if you're caught driving a vehicle on the road of San Andreas and it doesn't have a front plate or you haven't registered it in the vehicle registration as at least having a temp tag, then it will be towed. It must be towed if it gets stopped or if a cop goes past and doesn't see a license plate or a vi possible vehicle temp tag. Um, so, yeah. Now, vehicles like this one, I can't remember, give me a second. Yeah, vehicle like this can be driven because it at least has a back plate. So, yeah, if it has a back plate, at least it can be driven at any time you choose. You just have to, of course, abide by the rules of the road or face getting um, offense, infraction, or so on and so forth. Uh, let me go on to the online area real quick and show you a few things. All right, so um, this is acceptable. All these are pretty well acceptable. Um, looking okay, so of course Zentorno is not acceptable because of the reason I already stated the back plate. These are acceptable, but it, like it says in the penal code, those guns, you have to RP that they don't work. Uh, if I remember it, they don't work anyway, but you still have to RP that they just aren't functional, which shouldn't be too hard. Um, okay, so yeah, that's pretty well it for that. And sports cars are not illegal or not against the rules in mountain law you can drive them all day all night long doesn't matter it's just you have to abide by the rules or you face punishments that's just how it is in, in real life now here's where it gets fun so this right here is of course a military vehicle if a cop sees you driving it you either had to be of course a part of military a part of a secret or a um, private um, security detail or something that would require a vehicle like this. If you're like just driving it around like to a photo shoot or something like this, that this right here has to be disarmed. It cannot be functional. If it shoots, you're in trouble. Point blank, that's how it is. Everybody in the vehicle has to be arrested because it's an uh, it's technically at that point a fully operating machine gun which is a military grade weapon 
So, and that's above a class 4 weapon. And those are illegal. Unless you have particular licenses for it. Um, this right here, you can only drive if you have a permit for it. Which, of course, is in the um, CIV registration. You can put in there of have permit for armored vehicle, blah, blah, blah. Um, this pretty well, um, I'll cover that some more in a later part of the video, but pretty well for these is you can technically have, yes, but these ha cannot, you cannot shoot it. Anything on this, you cannot shoot. It's basically a dummy plant, uh, a stump plane, unless you're in the military doing like military exercises. And then, even then, technically you cannot shoot it unless certain procedures are met um this is basically a company vehicle so you basically you should have a plate on the back and you register it uh this same thing as before a vehicle if this shoots you're in trouble um again any th weaponries on this shoot you're in trouble so on and so forth um so yeah now, prison bus is, of course, under the LEO division, so that's kind of excluded. If you're caught driving that and you're not LEO, you probably are going to be in trouble. Um, now, with flying vehicles, you do have to have a pilot license, and that is also in CIV registration. That's not in the CAD. That's in the um, Discord itself in a particular channel. So, yeah, I'll... Um, You'll eventually be shown that if you haven't been already. All right, so let's go through this a bit. Now, with this, of course, you, you've got to make sure that your aircraft is registered under the state in San Andreas. And that's basically commercial aircraft registration. And that will be in the Discord. Um, if it isn't registered or stuff like that then it can be seized and you won't be able to fly it if it and as usual stuff like the uh, anti-helicopter if it has armament you cannot shoot it if you shoot it you're in trouble uh, because then the military will be called in and you might be getting shot out of the sky if you don't land just saying Alright, now with boats, you have to have them registered at, of course, basically marine registration or boat registration, as uh, some of you might know it as, so yeah. Um, okay. Bottom line is, you have to have uh, vehicles of any form or description registered. It's that simple, folks. Alright, now with this, this is where it kind of gets interesting, so I can't tell if that this has a license plate or not but if it does you're good to drive it on the public roads but if it does not you cannot drive it on public roads Zentorno if you drive that off road technically the law can't do anything about it if you drive it off a road but the moment you drive it onto a public road you can be cited and the vehicle will most likely be towed so that's just how it is now if it's a off-road vehicle that has a license plate then you technically can take it on to the road, like a lot of these right here does. A lot of these do actually have license plates, so you can technically take it on the road. Um, now with that, if it's a vehicle that has a front license plate, um, it's okay, yes, but if you get pulled over and the officer says you don't have a license plate, um, then after that first pullover, please, please get another vehicle because they're just going to keep pulling you over for the exact same thing and it's going to get frustrating for everybody. So, um, yeah, just putting that one out there. All right. Uh, oh, Le limousines are basically, they can either be privately owned or company owned. It doesn't matter. If it's a company-owned vehicle, basically, you still register it. Um, I'm actually probably going to put a company registration in the Discord, now that I think of it. So, yeah, to where you can register company-owned vehicles. 
and all that good stuff. All right, so um, ATVs, I don't, I can't remember if you can put a license plate, but if you can, then you can drive those on the public roads, but in the city, you might still get pulled over because of those wheels, so just putting that one out there. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty well it on that spectrum. Okie dokie, so let's grab a bike. Actually, no, I was going to show you something, wasn't I? Yes, yes, it was. Um, which car to grab? Which car to grab? Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna grab my blue one. That'll work. Okay, so of course this vehicle is still legal because of the window tint, and it you could I could drive this on the road all day because it's pretty well legal. It's just that spoiler that can probably catch an officer or two off guard if they're not, um, if they want to really get on me about it. So yeah, um, now we're going to do some things that may be odd or whatever or whatnot. So yeah. Give me one second. Yeah, we're just we're pretty well gonna go driving around real quick. Oh, um actually we're not gonna quite go driving around. Why yeah, we're gonna get there though. I promise we're gonna get there. Shoot, why did I go there? Oh, uh. all right. So, yes, back to this. Now, so uh, down here, it, basically you'll have your buses. This right here is a mining vehicle. I'm sorry, I should have got this earlier, but um, mining vehicle. If you're caught driving this on the road, you're instantly gonna get pulled over. You're instantly probably going to get pulled out of the cabin. And you're going to either get arrested or heavily cited for a lot of stuff. Now, guys, you can pretty well do anything in role play. Go be a miner if you want. Just don't drive it on public roads. Go be a bus driver. We got quite a few buses. Um, go be a uh, alcohol delivery driver. Go be a camper. There you go. Go camp. Um, you can be military personnel even. You got military trucks. Just with the tank, may, remember, unless you're on the military base or you're doing a um, practice. And if you're driving that around, drive it only in certain areas. Um, basically call 911 and say, hey, blah, 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 blah. Um... With this right here, you can pretty well drive that around all day. It as long as it's registered and within the rules and guidelines. Um, this right here is of course military vehicle, blah blah blah. So yeah, go be a bus driver, go be a delivery driver. Um, there's a uh, I think UPS or Humane Labs thing right there. Go be a uh, scientist. Um, so yeah, you can, there's many things to do, it just takes the creativity to do it. And then in the map, it, it gives you stuff to role play too. Sometimes it spawns a bunch of tow trucks, sometimes it spawns a bunch of, um, 18 wheelers, and sometimes it spawns a bunch of whatever it spawns. When it starts spawning stuff like that, there's something for every sim to do. Everyone grab a damn semi and start being semi drivers for the roleplay. Trust me, that'll get the cops going. They're gonna be going, what the? <laughs> They're gonna be laughing though. 
But here's the thing. Don't run every single time. Because if you guys... If sis start running too much, that priority timer will be used. More than I actually want it to be. I don't want to have to have the host do priority timers. I want it to be legit. But if you guys are going to do a priority every five minutes, then it it's going to get used. So just keep that in mind. Um, now with semis, of course, it's interesting because you can't go very fast, but it's still heptic because you are bigger, most likely, than any other cruiser that might be chasing you. <laughs> so, yeah, just kind of keep that in mind. Um, what am I missing? Oh, another thing is, before roleplay, and this has actually been a rule for quite some time now, do not be around um, police stations or fire stations because that is where the LEO and the fire department set up. And if you're racing around them, that gets hard. Don't race around them because, it, to my knowledge, if I remember right, it is still a rule. If you race around them, you can get receive a warning and then you can receive a suspension. And if you keep doing it and you receive enough suspensions, you can get kicked from it. Kicked for it. So just. Okay. Um, guys, I'm gonna temporarily park in this mobile garage. I hope this. Yeah, it's not gonna work for me. Screw you two. Yeah. So stuff like this, I actually just rarely notice this, but that when that tire smoke right there instantly probably would get pulled over for all right i'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and i will be right back all right guys sorry about that anyway um so what i'm about to show you and kind of tell you might become a, a little bit of a shock but lsia and um sandy shores airfield slightly known possibly as trevor's airfield i'm not 100 sure on that part but um anyway those two airfields are not private property those are actually um owned by the state but you can still receive a trespassing ticket because of them being airfields they're high security and they don't like just anybody on them so yeah you do have to kind of call at um, certain numbers and request access in roleplay it will it would be like 911 or um, so on and so forth so yeah to request access and then of course be granted access to it um so yeah with that mm. 